Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. It's been almost a year since the official launch of ClickFunnels 2.0 and since I made my original ClickFunnels 2.0 review. Since then, they have made a lot of changes and improvements. So today I want to share with you an updated in-depth review of ClickFunnels 2.0. And I'm going to show you the good and the bad that I discovered by using ClickFunnels 2.0 for almost a year and help you decide whether or not ClickFunnels 2.0 is right for your business. Before we dive in, I would like to talk about what ClickFunnels 2.0 is and what it's not. ClickFunnels Classic was mostly focused on funnels. While you could build a membership area or a website, send emails with it, the old platform wasn't really good for that, let's be honest. Now ClickFunnels 2.0 is an improved solution for building your funnels, but it has much more to offer, like site, blog, courses, funnels, email broadcasts and automations, and all of that not just in the form of some workarounds or custom solutions, like if you would build a site in ClickFunnels Classic, but the new platform, ClickFunnels 2.0, is actually meant to build those things. Before we get to the ClickFunnels 2.0 review, I want to mention that if you start your ClickFunnels 2.0 trial using our link, you will receive our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus to help you shorten the learning curve. You can find the link to the free trial in the description of this video, and if you want just the course, it's also linked in the description. Now let's dive into ClickFunnels 2.0. The first thing that you see when you log into your account is the dashboard. It gives you a quick overview of the recent activity, as well as shortcuts to different sections of your account. As mentioned, ClickFunnels 2.0 allows you to build not only funnels, but also a blog, a site that you can see here, standalone pages, courses, and your customer center. All of these modules use a drag and drop editor that we are all used from ClickFunnels Classic, but of course the editor was updated and improved. But this means that you don't need tech skills to create those things in ClickFunnels 2.0, to create your pages or your article. For example, creating a blog post in ClickFunnels 2.0 is significantly easier than in WordPress. Let me quickly show you how the editor in ClickFunnels 2.0 looks and what I like about it. First of all, there are much more styling options for all the elements and also more functionality. And all those things may not seem significant, but they were not available in ClickFunnels Classic and you would need to use some custom code to make things look this way. But in ClickFunnels 2.0, this is possible. As you can see, I have a row here with two columns and a white background and I have the rounded corners for that background. I also have a slight shadow here and I can easily do that in the settings of this column. You can see that I can select a background, then shadow and the radius of the corners. Now you can also easily add gradients to the backgrounds. If I select gradient here, we have the way more options for the weight of the text. It's not just regular and bold, but all the other options that we can select from and other things that you can see here. The next feature that was introduced in ClickFunnels 2.0 and that I really like is a style guide. In the style guide, you can style different elements like headlines, paragraph, subheadlines, buttons, and so on. And you set the style for all those elements, like for example, the font, the size, the colors, as you can see here, for background, for buttons, for different elements. You can set default shadows and borders that you want to use. After that, ClickFunnels 2.0 saves all of that for you and remembers that. And whenever you create an element, in your site, in your blog, in your funnels, this element will look exactly like you set it in the style guide. Of course, you can then go into the settings of this element and adjust it, so this specific element, but overall, this gives your funnels, pages, site a unified look, because all the elements will follow this style guide. Another great addition and improvement in the funnel editor is so-called universal sections. You would like to use them for your header and your footer, like you can see here, and that's the section that you create once and then save it, and you can add it to different pages, to your site, and if you want to update something, for example, if I want to update the text of the disclaimer or the links here, I just need to edit this universal section, and ClickFunnels will populate the changes 
all over the pages and funnels where you have this section edit. Again, it seems like a minor thing, but it was really missing in ClickFunnels 1.0. And if you wanted to update something in the footer, you would need to manually go to each step of your funnel, of all your funnels, and then make the change here. In ClickFunnels 2.0, you don't have this problem anymore. And as mentioned, you use the same editor for your pages, funnels, for your articles, lessons. And once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to create all those elements. For example, if we go to the blog and I open one of the articles that I have here, you can see that it's the same editor that we would use for the funnel. All right, let's move further. As you may already notice, not just the funnel editor got an upgrade, there are also a lot of modern templates that you can use for your funnels and the flow of the funnel became more intuitive. For example, you can clearly see here the steps that I see in this funnel and also if I want to edit one of the steps, I can switch to the next step just here on the left side, which I think is very convenient. You can also enable the analytics to see the performance of your funnel straight on this page. Before we move further, grab our funnel launch checklist that is linked in the description of this video to ensure a flawless launch of your next funnel. The next section that I want to show you is the product section. And I absolutely love how the product management is implemented in ClickFunnels 2.0. First of all, the products are global. You create them once and then you can add them to any funnel. And it's not like in ClickFunnels 1.0 where you would need to create the product in each funnel. And you can do so much with the products now. First of all, you can add the description and the image. You can add multiple pricing options. You can already out of the box add a paid or a free trial and a one-time setup fee. Your product may have variations like different sizes or colors and you can also link it to a digital asset or a course and if somebody buys your product they automatically get access to this asset or your course. The order section allows you to easily keep track of all the payment transactions in the account and also issue a refund if needed. You can see your invoices, orders, subscriptions and monthly recurring revenue that you get from these subscriptions. You can also see draft and abandoned orders. Next on our list is contacts. The management of the contacts in ClickFunnels 2.0 is organized based on tags and segments. They don't have lists. However, they have so-called topics that contacts are subscribed to. I like that if you open the details for a specific content, view full profile, you see all the information about the contact and their journey, what they bought, where they opt in, which page they viewed and so on. And last but not least, which is quite important if you're migrating to ClickFunnels 2.0 and you used a third-party autoresponder like ActiveCampaign, Airweber and so on, ClickFunnels 2.0 by now supports bulk import of contacts and you can just click CSV import here and import all your contacts from another autoresponder. By the way, you can check out the video on how you do it by clicking on the card here. Next is the marketing section. ClickFunnels 2.0 allows you to send both broadcasts and also email sequences, which are called workflows. And to be honest, they not just include email sequences, but you can also add different actions. Workflows got a new look that actually shows a flow, so you can clearly see which steps you have in your workflow. And the set using workflows, you don't just send emails. You can also, for example, enroll a contact into the course, submit this contact to a third party autoresponder or a lot of other actions that you can see here. If you don't want to use ClickFunnels 2.0 for email marketing, it still integrates with third party autoresponders like ActiveCampaign, Aweber and so on. And you can just submit your contacts from ClickFunnels 2.0 to this autoresponder and then already handle the email follow-ups in that autoresponder. I would say that workflows in ClickFunnels 2.0 are not as powerful as for example in ActiveCampaign but they are enough for regular sequences and actions that you want to perform with the contacts. I hope by now you get an idea of how powerful ClickFunnels 2.0 is and if it would be a right fit for your business. Now let's talk about some disadvantages that I still see in this platform and that I would like the team to fix. First of all, there are still some issues that you may encounter here and there. 
For example, I have just recently created this workflow and as you can see, for some reason it's already broken and I cannot fix it, I either need to reach out to the support or try to recreate this workflow and again, if I just want to go back, I see an error page. Or before I had an issue when I had to reconnect the active campaign account multiple times before ClickFunnels 2.0 finally started submitting my contacts to active campaign. The next disadvantage that I see is that some elements are still missing. For example, a survey element that we used in ClickFunnels 1.0 is not available in ClickFunnels 2.0 for some reason, or such an important feature as Facebook Conversions API tracking is also not available and I'm not sure if the team will be working on it. And the last disadvantage that I want to mention is the unsubscribe logic. For some reason, it doesn't make any sense to me. As said, ClickFunnels doesn't use any lists, so you can only manage the contacts based on the segments or tags, and they are subscribed to the specific topics, but there is no place where you can see the list of those topics and which contacts are subscribed to this specific topic. You can only delete the topic or create new topics, but you don't see which topics the contact is subscribed to in the contact information and where you manage the topics, you also don't see which contacts are subscribed to this topic. For me, it's a bit confusing and I don't fully understand what was the idea behind this flow. Maybe my personal preference, but I wanted to mention that. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you. I hope that this video, this review will help you decide if ClickFunnels 2.0 is the right choice for you, for your business needs, for what you want to build and create. You can find the links to the free ClickFunnels 2.0 trial in the description of this video. And don't forget, if you start the trial using our link, you also will get our ClickFunnels 2.0 mastery course as a bonus. And also grab our funnel launch checklist, it's free, to make sure that the launch of your funnel is flawless. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to enable notifications to not miss out on the future videos. Bye-bye!